In this tutorial, we'll be navigating the setup wizard on your DVR. So the first thing you need to do is click the start wizard button. Okay, from here, you need to check that DHCP is ticked. If not, you need to tick that on. And this allows your recorder access to the internet so you can use the mobile app. You also need to ensure that you've ticked UPnP. This also allows internet access. Once you've got those two things ticked, you just need to click next. From here, you can update your date and times. To do that, you just click in here and we can change that. Let's change this by clicking this. Once you've done that, you want to click next. This screen allows you to link IP cameras to your recorder. We currently aren't using any IP cameras, so we don't need to worry about this. So you can click next. This screen is used to format any new hard drives that you've put inside your recorder. Uh, we haven't got any at the moment, but if you were going to format your hard drive so that you could use it to record, you would essentially select it and then click format um, and then click authenticate. And um, once that's done, you can then click next. This is where you can change your output resolution. This should already be set to default, but if it isn't, you can just click in here and change it accordingly. Once you've done that, click apply and then click next. Here you can see the P2P information in your recorder. For now, you can click next. The final screen gives you an overview of the settings that your recorder is using. You can now click finish. We're now ready to go on our recorder setup. 